The death of a young Ontario woman is raising questions tonight about a controversial policy. She was refused a life-saving liver transplant because of a history with alcohol. We first shared her story in the spring. Tonight, CTV's Avis Favreau takes a closer look at her journey and the financial cost of these health care decisions. When Amanda Huska landed in hospital in March, her liver was failing. Doctors requested an urgent liver transplant, but the 36-year-old was rejected by the transplant centre in Toronto because she had a history of drinking and had only recently stopped. Her partner, Nathan Allen, then offered part of his liver to save her life, but wasn't allowed. I'm aware of the risks. I was willing to undergo the, the risks, and they didn't care. In Canada, patients with alcohol liver disease can be denied both livers from deceased and living donors because doctors worry they will resume drinking, damaging the new liver. And so Nathan had to watch as Amanda suffered for over 167 days, most of it in intensive care, until she died August 15th. Unbelievably unbearable. Like, it's basically like a human being disintegrating before your eyes. The estimated cost of her protracted hospital stay is well over $450,000. The cost of a liver transplant ranges from about seventy dollars to $100,000. It's a shame that so much money was spent keeping her alive under such horrendous circumstances and putting her family and her partner under such stress when... The remedy was a lot cheaper and could have happened much, much sooner. After first profiling Amanda's story in May, CTV News heard from other Canadian families who say they too had to watch their loved one slowly die after being refused a liver transplant because of their prior alcohol use. But donor livers are rare, say doctors, with hard choices needed on who should get them. We want to ensure that we make the best use of that gift as possible. And we want to keep that gift alive and functioning for as long as possible. The Transplant Centre responded to CTV. We are unable to comment on the specifics of this case due to patient privacy. She would have done whatever it took. She wanted to live. Nathan and others are now considering a legal challenge to what they say are guidelines that discriminate against those with alcohol addiction, hoping to avoid other tragedies like Amanda's. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.